Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your um, July reading, the rest of July for Virgo. How are you guys? So first I'm looking at your money, first row, second row, your love life, and then anything else you need to know, and I will tie it together. So Virgo, because we know money finances often affects relationships and love life. So what does Virgo need to know? Virgo, to do with their money. So I do see the high priestess is telling you to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. Yeah, I do see um, burdens being lifted, paying off some debt. Okay, I also see someone letting go of some baggage. But it's an energy of someone who rises like the phoenix from the ashes. Yeah, I see some sort of uh, judgment call communication. Uh, that could take a, and this is also someone who works a lot, ten of fire, somebody who works, works, works. Okay, so it's telling you to trust your inner knowing. You may be keeping something to yourself, but I do feel there's some sort of decision. Now, this could be a reconciliation with yourself to pay off debt. <laughs> okay, but I see someone working multiple jobs. Lot of weight, a lot of responsibility, but I see a call. So if there is, I feel you may get a phone call, okay, a communication that could uh, lighten that load. Sometimes all it takes is a call. Wow, but it's also a judgment and a decision to kind of shed and release. Some of you, it's just a yourself, a, a reconciliation with yourself to pay off debt. Some of you could have already, though. I mean, it's here. So, wow. Let's see where that's going to go. Virgos, your money with the high priestess. Why is this here? So someone keeping their suffering in silence, keeping their feelings to themselves. And to me, I see you're keeping something to yourself. It could be working a lot or, you know, bills a lot on your plate. And then I see work. Yeah, working, working, all work, no play. Yeah, but I do see it's an energy of someone perfecting their craft and skills. It's about building something here. So, yeah, what, what is this call about here? This judgment, this decision. Yeah, so someone is made, making a decision, the straw that broke the camel's back, but I still see someone rising like the phoenix from the ashes because something is over. So it could be you're working too much and maybe you're just, you're done with working. All you're doing is working, suffering in silence. It could be affecting your love life because I did say that, but there it is. This is where the sun starts shining. Something is ending, so something new can begin. Probably a new job. If you've been working a lot and you're not, you know, you're all, you're working a lot, you have a lot of your plate um, but what i feel is happening here the painful period in your life is over and it could be just debt working a lot where you've made that reconciliation where you either want a new job okay but i see a lot of happiness and joy to do with some kind of a decision you're going to make about work okay and starting something new someone's suffering in silence here though kind of keeping their feelings to themselves but there's so much happiness and joy. And I feel you can probably feel it coming. <laughs> it could be just a phone call away. You might get a phone call to do with something new that makes you happy. But if you are making a reconciliation with yourself, it could be a, re a relationship reconciliation as well. But I feel for the most part, it's often to do with self. Okay, to pay off debt, to, to work, work, work. But so much work, yeah. Someone with a lot of pressure, a lot of weight on their shoulders. But it's all good. So something new here. New job. Um, yeah, whatever this is with these tens, this is a, a cycle. And the new cycle is beginning. So, so much happiness. Let's have a look at your love life because I feel it's tying into this. I can see it already. What does Virgo need to know? Yeah, so see, there it is flowing. A painful period in your life is over. You're just going to blow it off. It's gone. So you've got something new. So this is where all that weight and pressure disappears. I see change. It's an energy of change. Prosperity, abundance, financial abundance. So there's change coming. It's definitely positive. What's going on with your love life? Ooh, I see the Empress. This is the birth of something new, the start of something new. Now, this could be, if you are a masculine, you may be thinking of reaching out to someone. But if you're a feminine, it's about being open, being open to offers, ideas. Okay, so there's a start of something new here. I see love coming in. Absolutely, I see change and change for the better. 
So let's have a look at that with this deck. Tell me about this Ten of Air. Why is this here? Yeah, see someone back and forth, back and forth, weighing the pros and the cons of a situation. Could be someone robbing Peter to pay Paul or just juggling work and love life. More than likely, this is someone here who's, you know, in that energy. <laughs> a little procrastination, but I feel there's change coming. Yeah, you have a fresh new start, an opportunity, an invitation of some sort. I feel if you're the feminine, you're open to this. Mm -hmm. If you're the masculine, this person's open, okay? Yeah, very nice. So it has to do with victory, success. See, something that wasn't, someone's weighing the pros and the cons, whether this will be successful. See, it's somebody having to let go of their pride and ego. Yeah, so some of you have had a situation that wasn't working out here. I can see it. it has to do with financial success, something long-term. But I, I feel what we have is a person. Oh, we got the Queen of Cups here. Beautiful. Yeah. See, it's an energy of leaving something behind. Um, focusing on financial success. Some of you have been juggling. So I do see uh, focusing more on your love life too. Beautiful. Yeah. And if you are a masculine, this is the person here who's open to love. And we have, yeah. So there's been a lot of obstacles, challenges. A lot of challenge. It's all temporary energy. It's chaos, conflict, and drama. So, <laughs> yeah. See, it's an energy of someone taking action. But I do see a lot of drama. But this is an energy of a fresh new start and opportunity. So this is something that's not worth fighting over or fighting for. But I, I can see where all this has changed. That's why I feel the straw that broke the camel's back, It's something is finished. Okay? And now there's the start of something new. Yeah, yeah, someone here is in this, someone is just drained, it's never good enough, thanks but no thanks, taking this new opportunity, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, there you are, yeah, you're, you're finished with something here, <laughs> you're, you're looking into the future, mm -hmm. but you've been keeping a lot of this to yourself, suffering in silence, working, now it's time to focus on your love life, and I do see some obstacles, challenges, what it's telling you, if you want to have success, let go of the drama, Okay, like I say, it's a lot of drama, but I see competition and conflict, okay, but it's coming to an end. It's a temporary energy, and I feel, this is where I feel, like you're looking at a situation. It's an energy of planning and preparing for the best, okay, hoping for the best. So it's an energy of choosing um, something that's worth fighting for or fighting over. So that's an entry. It could be a reconciliation between two people. Uh, but it's often just a decision, yeah? Someone's seeing the truth. They're going, aha, seeing the truth. It has to do with drama, but it has to do with whether something's worth fighting for, fighting over, okay? But you've got this opportunity. And I actually feel, it's. I, I see, because this Six of Wands is looking that way, you're going to pay attention to the red flags. The signs and signals may be cautioning you a little bit, okay? But watch out for the drama, because that's what I feel. There's been a lot of drama here. And I do feel this is where you don't want to get involved in drama. The Queen of Pentacles isn't in, interested in drama or competing. But I don't think you're going to have to compete because this is a cup coming your way. There's change, change for the better. Something here has changed you forever too. So, yeah, it has to do with something you felt wouldn't be successful now could be. It's just a matter of a few obstacles in the way. And it's also, see, it's telling you to be patient. Something's about to pay off and you can see truth. Okay, you can see this as a victory <laughs> where you thought there wouldn't be, there's going to be. So patience often pay off. But I also see often the empress is someone who doesn't put all their eggs in one basket. So and this, I feel, is to do with work and, and your love life. Uh, but it's an energy of just being patient, investing in this situation. You're not interested in anyone if there's drama or competition. I can see that you're not interested. So you might be just weighing the pros and the cons of this situation. So let's just have a look at the pros and the cons. What are the pros and the cons? Because something is over. It's finished. The straw that broke the camel's back. See, the tower. Some sort of massive epiphany. See, so you're finished with something here. Or somebody. And it could be a job situation. An opportunity for a fresh new start leading to success. So tell me about that Ace of Cups. We'll just go over that. And I'm going to go over the Five of Wands. 
Yeah. So I do see a crossroads, a choice. So there's some sort of choice. Now, this is often that energy of the two of swords, not two of wands, actually. It goes this way, yes. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, but what I feel here, it's an energy of making a decision. Back and forth in your head and making a choice. You'll make a decision when you're ready, I feel, too. Like I say, just you're not into any drama here. Tell me about this five of wands. It's an energy of taking action. It's fighting for something that you want. Yeah, see, it's an energy worth something worth, worth fighting for. The hermit here. This cute little hermit. Somebody in their little tortoise shell. <laughs> it's an energy of looking for clues and answers. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I feel some of you, you could be the person actually starting the drama. Uh, it could be that realization, okay, where you see some truth, okay? If you're the masculine, it could be this person who is, and it's whether something is successful or not. So some of you too, I do feel some of you, it's an energy of moving on and taking another opportunity. Some of you could reconcile with somebody here. Yeah, but it has to do with whether it'll be successful or not. There's a need for truth. Someone's seeing the truth to do with this drama or something that's worth fighting for and going after. Yeah, definitely financial situation. Yeah, there's that world. It's an energy of change. It has to do with something sudden that changes everything forever. There's a need for change. It's an energy of somebody moving on here, no longer invested in a lot of drama. And it could be yourself or uh, as a feminine or we have a masculine. We do have um, a feminine here. I mean, it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. So, yeah, I just see change moving on, no longer investing in drama. Someone seeing the truth. But it's time for change because I feel it's an energy of this opportunity for a fresh new start. You may not see this coming, but there's some sort of decision and someone's back and forth whether they should or they shouldn't. You know, someone may be comparing someone to someone else. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is nine of water. See, this is someone here keeping a lot of their feelings to themselves. They're hopeful, but they're careful what they wish for. Someone being careful what they wish for here. Yeah, it's often a person who keeps their feelings to themselves. They don't let other people know. Okay, wearing the mask. Yeah, but I do see a lot to do with work, building. But it takes two people to build a relationship. So it has to do with someone putting in effort. I feel like you're being a little careful what you wish for. Okay about whether this is something that will work the way you want it to. But I really feel you're not going to see this fresh new start and opportunity coming. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely that tower. And I, that's why I feel it could be something to do with work and a job. Uh, someone here is wishing and hoping for something, but not telling anyone. Keeping it to themselves. Suffering in silence. Yeah, this is where the transformation happens. So something is going to end for something new to begin, too. That's where I feel. And it, I feel it's a job situation, uh, but also a, a relationship, possible reconciliation. Someone's making a decision um, to end a situation. And some of you are juggling, like I say, a lot on your plate. Burdens. Um, has to do with responsibility. Someone's not reliable. They're not stable. Okay, I mean, it could be the feminine here, regardless whether it's a, a Virgo or not, where someone here just feels like, you know, someone's not putting in the effort. They may decide to end it. But what's so interesting is every ending leads to a new beginning. So there's this opportunity for a fresh new start. So, wow. Let's have a, have a look at how this is going to all play out, because this is your last row of cards, which... Tells you anything else you need to know and ties this all together. What does Virgo need to know for July? Yeah, so it's an energy of looking back, feeling beat up, feeling like giving up. But it's also an energy of not giving up. Something's worth fighting for, going after. Yeah, see, it's going to take cooperation, compromise. It takes two people to build a relationship. It has to do with someone putting in effort. If you have someone who's not putting in effort, and it could to do with work and things too, where you're just in that mindset, it's going to end. But that ending is going to lead to something really beautiful. Yeah, queen of water. <laughs> Very nice energy. 
Well, I do see an energy of love, emotions, but I see cooperation, compromise. See, somebody here is giving up. They're no longer bending over backwards to please somebody. This is someone pleasing themselves. See, putting this all behind, but not giving up on love. This is someone who's definitely open to new love, but that need to, for somebody who's more compatible, willing to cooperate and compromise. Yeah, we have someone longing for love. Ah, oh, yeah. And I see someone who's single. <laughs> mm. And three of air. So it's an energy of waiting, longing for love and waiting. Something you've been waiting for. Okay. Well, maybe missing somebody here. But it's often just someone longing for love. Feeling the ship has sailed with someone else. It's time to accept another offer. And that could be something you're going through. An inner struggle. Okay. If it's not yourself, it's the person around you. Wow. Tell me about the nine of water. Let me just oh, actually grab this deck. Tell me about the nine of, or the nine of fire. Why do that? Nine of water. Oh, it's above. Mm -hmm. They're connected. Nine of water, nine of fire. Nine of, it, it's an energy of someone who's cautious, playing it safe. They're keeping things to themselves. Someone could be keeping a secret. They may have another opportunity. If someone doesn't put in the effort, they're going to, you know, move on where they feel the ship has sailed. Yeah, see, trusting the intuition, see how this is all playing out, it's all coming together. Someone's trusting their inner knowing where they just know. Yeah, we have an emperor coming in. So we have an emperor here. And I feel like it's an energy of both people trusting your intuition, you're trusting your inner knowing, yeah, waiting for commitment, uh, waiting for some kind of reason to celebrate here. Yeah, we've got this longing for love. There could be children involved here too. This is the thing, there could be children um, but I feel like we have someone who's just longing for love. And I see this emperor. Yeah, see, now we have the... This is why I could feel there's a masculine and feminine energy. Someone is definitely seeing the truth about drama. Too much drama, chaos, and conflict. There's an energy of someone who's... It's time to, to no longer invest in this. Someone's, you know, been patient, and they're now seeing the truth. It's not going to pay off. It's also someone who, who doesn't put all their eggs in one basket. So there's some sort of choice. But I see a house, a home, a family, a uh, possible commitment. Yeah, it's an energy of someone being more generous. See, it's an energy of generosity. Wow. But it has to do with two people talking, reciprocating here. Some of you are no longer giving to someone. You're no longer giving. You're already the feminine. You're already, you know, longing for love. You're no longer giving to someone else. Because we have a single person who has everything they need but love. But I feel we've got two people going to talk here. I can see two people going to have a conversation at some point. Let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. Whoops. Yeah, so this is somebody putting on the brakes, taking another look, some cancer energy. And we're dealing with that cancer energy. We're dealing with this cancer energy as we get near the end of the month. Around the 21st or so. So there's something going to be building. The emotions are going to build here. So I do feel somebody with a chariot energy is going to take their power back and no longer give to someone. Because this is someone who wants love. So for the feminine, I feel like you're putting on the brakes, okay? And you're taking off in another direction here. You're taking back your power because you want love. And I do feel like you've got love coming in. Um, but I feel for some of you, uh, for the masculines, I feel, it's an energy of reaching out to somebody here. See, it's an energy of a house, a home that has to do with commitment. So I'm just going to look at that because this is often someone who doesn't want to give. They don't want to give necessarily but it has to do with being more generous with time, energy, uh, money. Because I, I feel we have two people trusting their inner knowing. They already know. This is often when you're just about ready to give up on someone, then they come in uh, and they reach out. But I do think this is someone who's putting on the brakes and they're taking another look. Yeah, the daughter of wands. Yeah, so this is somebody here. I feel this is a person who's kind of rushing in, rushing out, feeling overwhelmed. Someone's taking off in the other direction. And then we have the Father of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles again. See, it's about being more generous with time, energy, 
Um, it's about two people reciprocating. So I feel like it's both people are feeling the same, no longer talking to each other. You're both going and I feel we got two people going their separate ways. Because uh, somebody here has given up. Because they feel someone already is involved with someone else. But this is often when you're just about ready to put something behind. You're about ready to start something new when this person comes in. Yeah, after a long period of time. But it has to do with someone who's putting on the brakes and assessing the situation. Yeah, see it again. Weighing both people, weighing the pros and the cons. You know, the good outweighing the bad or someone comparing someone to someone else. Yeah, see it's an energy of justice, commitment. It has to do with somebody having to commit, but it has to do with someone who needs to come in right. It's about coming in right. It's also whether someone's right for someone or not. And I do see both people here, both of you kind of in that same energy. But it's like when you're just about ready, someone here is just about ready to give up and they're trusting their inner knowing. They already know when they're about to move on and start something new, the other person comes in. Now that's often sometimes a person who does it out of jealousy they become jealous because they know the other person's starting something new and then they come in and tell the other person they're going to commit. But then they do the same thing. They stop They stop giving after a period of time. So like I say, I see somebody taking their power elsewhere here and I do see two people going their separate ways. But I also see a reconciliation of two people coming together. Yeah, you can see there's an energy of three. But I also see there's some very positive news. Uh, some kind of celebration or gathering. So it's two people coming apart and two people coming together. Um, so this is where I feel someone's about to make a decision. I see financial decisions as well. Like I say, it's an energy of someone who works a lot. They have a lot on their plate. And that the straw that broke the camel's back because someone's not putting it. They're putting all their effort into work, but they're not putting any effort into a relationship. So it's all tying together, as it often does. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What do they want? This is someone thinking things through, choosing their battles, whether something's worth fighting for or fighting over. But it's about someone getting away. See, it's an energy of someone's getting away. They're putting this behind. And now they don't want them to get away. But it has to do with having to commit. It has to do with coming and right, committing. See, I, I feel, this is where I feel, though. This is someone who will push the other person away, guarded and defensive. See, it's often what will happen, the same thing happening, and that's why I feel someone who comes in, they reach out after a long period of time. When they get what they want, then they push the other person away. So, like I say, if you're the feminine watching this, keep on moving, okay? Keep on moving because this isn't coming with a pentacle. It's not coming. It's coming with that guarded defensive energy where someone pushes someone away. You know, that nine of wands because they're jealous. They want you, but they don't want anyone else to have you. Uh, energy. So there's the empress, the birth of something new. The feminine's open to something new. Okay. Someone's getting out socializing. Uh, there's p other people around them. Um, I feel this is someone who's, they have a lot of abundance. This is someone who has everything. They have everything they need. Um, this is the Empress energy. It's beautiful because this is someone here who's making this choice, this life path choice decision. See, a choice, even a choice between two. Because I feel someone here doesn't like putting all their eggs in one basket. And why? Because of the six of wands. If they don't get what they want from one person, they'll get it elsewhere. But I also see the feminine in that energy. You know, someone doesn't want to put any effort in or they can't make up their mind. It's where someone all of a sudden decides to end it and make up someone's mind for them. But I feel some of you, you've got this opportunity. There is some positive energy here, but it's an energy of letting down that guard, not pushing away. Someone who keeps pushing someone away because they don't want to give. They want, the, they want to receive, so it's a taker, somebody who wants to take, but they don't want to give. That's why I feel the feminine's taking back their power. They're putting on the brakes. Yeah. Meeting other people. I see dating, getting out, socializing, and I see the beautiful Empress energy, the start of something new. So it's two people coming apart and two other people coming together. There's some sort of life path choice. Yeah, it has to do with someone choosing the one, choosing the right person, the one. 
Someone's a little bit asleep at the wheel here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why? See, it's a person who rushes in. They, you know, they come in very fast, fiery. They're in a hurry. There's a sense of hurry because the other person's getting away. But then when they get the opportunity, they push them away. Yeah, we got the Three of Wands here. See, there's been some heartache because the fear that someone's going to choose someone else. There's another person. So regardless, I mean, as a fe the feminine energy, think this through. Choose your battles. Because I feel there's someone here who, you know, you, it's telling you to trust your inner knowing where you just know. As soon as you move on, they're going to come in. So you have to make a choice, choosing one. I think you got a person who doesn't want to put all their eggs in one basket and they're coming back around just when you're ready to invest something else. See, it's an energy of someone here possibly even feeling like the fool, but it, it's telling me there's a risk. It's about reflecting on everything that's happened and going down this path. Someone's ready to move forward, going off on a new path, a little Aries or Scorpio energy here some fire it doesn't have to be in the charts yeah this is the daughter of cup someone's ready to date someone else the feminine's ready to date someone else son of wands see the passionate new beginning the wand this is an energy of you know like i say we got someone who focuses on the physical connection nine of wands ten of wands see we have someone here who's already i i feel like we got someone who's been working they're debt free uh, they're now ready. They've ended the situation um, and they're ready for something new. And I do see new jobs, creative pursuits, all kind of thing going on here for the feminine. But like I say, some of you, it's like you're a little bit drained. You're working a lot, but I see the sun shining regardless. You're happy. <laughs> okay. I, I feel things are going to look good for the money, but I feel as far as relationships, I see endings and uh, uh, new beginnings. Mm-hmm. So some of you are just going to put on the brakes and take your power back. That's what the feminine does. The feminine has the power. Okay. This is someone focused on somebody else. They're making a choice, a life path choice, going down a different path. And then we have the, the masculine here looking at this going, is this the one? Are they going to get away? See, it's someone who just can't make up their mind. This is somebody who the grass is always greener on the other side. And that's what I feel like the feminine, you know, even cross watchers looking at this, if it's a masculine, um, you know, they, they, they just don't want to give. They'll take what you give, but they won't give anything in return. Like, I feel like you're not giving to this person anymore, but some masculines here, I do see no longer giving to somebody who's really dramatic a lot of chaos and drama, but there's some kind of truth about that. Who's causing it? The chaos, the conflict, the drama. So like I say, I see change. I see moving on. I see change for the better. Some of you definitely are moving on. The feminine especially. See, no longer invested in this energy. It's time for change. And I see this. See, and I think you know someone's never going to change. This is someone who doesn't always tell the whole truth. They don't tell you the things that you need to know. Some of you have another person too curious about you as well. And this is why I feel like you're going to take that other opportunity. Yeah. Crossroads, life path, choice, decision. Both people at a crossroads time in their life. It's about choosing. And you can see someone weighing the pros and the cons, procrastinating, should I or shouldn't I? They can't get out of their head. Or someone's comparing someone to someone else. And it's that energy, there's no one like you. But when you end up, see, there's an energy of lack. Someone feels like there's no hope. They're focusing on the cups that were spilled. There's just someone who's still focused on the past, the drama. Yeah, so I feel the feminine feels like there's not a lot of hope. There it is. This is an energy of that pentacle. See, it's about committing to the path. Someone here is not committing. They push the other person away. So what we have is a feminine here when this person comes in going, I'm not so, I don't believe this because that's also my believer card where someone just doesn't believe that this will ever happen because it's likely happened before. So see, when you're just about ready to give up, here they come. Yeah, but it has to do with whether it's solid or reliable. Some of you have something that's better, so you're going to choose. I wish you the best. Take care, and we'll see you soon.